Zelensky. If Ukraine falls, Putin will surely go further. What will the United States of America do when Putin reaches the Baltic states? When he reaches the Polish border? We have a lot of gratitude. What else must Ukraine do for everyone to measure our huge gratitude? We are dying in this war. Here's a summary of the article. We met President Zelensky as he prepared to depart Kyiv for the United States. He told us that his people are dying every day to prevent World War III. President Volodymyr Zelensky. We're defending the values of the whole world. Russia takes Zelensky seriously now because Putin's mass invasion was a fiasco. Zelensky tends to get what he asks for, even if, in Zelensky's opinion, it's generally, six months too late. We first met Zelensky not long after the invasion when his office was a blacked-out bunker. Our time with Zelensky began in silence a remembrance of the fallen during a ceremony to award medals of valor. Zelensky counts his dead in casualty reports each morning. This post received a score of 32,000, with an upvote ratio of 85%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Obviously if they attack a NATO member it would be a bit of a different story. The idea was that Russia would take Ukraine by force and then try to take the Baltics and Romania through more subversive efforts, using fifth columns for the Kremlin to get around Article 5. If Russia is even moderately successful in Ukraine and Putin lives a lot longer there's a decent chance they would attempt it. Because how much Ukraine deteriorated for them it may have set any such plans back indefinitely. Still, better to finish this now than leave doubt for later. I'm pretty sure the war will last long enough for Putin to either die or be replaced. I also think a campaign to somehow subterfuge the Baltics or Romania to Russian side is totally impossible at this point. What is required? Added $70 billion? Among the dumbest, most dense, and least intelligent queries. The interviewer picked this one. Let's put a dollar value on murder, rape, pain, genocide, hatred, torture, and the threat of global suffering to placate a lunatic. The interviewer ought to be mortified. The reason he asked that question was to evoke this type of emotional response and let Zelensky argue against people who are of the mindset that aid has been enough for Ukraine. Zelensky doesn't give a f about getting his feelings hurt lmao he's giving this interview to keep up support and the interviewer is asking these type of questions to let him do that. I'm reminded of that time Andrew Neil interviewed Ben Shapiro, the latter being relatively unknown in the UK. This interviewing style, putting questions that take the opposing point of view to your interviewee, to allow them to respond with their opinion, is common here. However, Shapiro had apparently never encountered it and became angry, attacking the interviewer instead of answering the questions. It strikes me again that this style is apparently just not common in the US at all. Edit, the interview, for those asking for it. Greater than E came angry, attacking the interviewer instead of answering the questions nah, that's just what he does. Pretty much. He doesn't actually want to be interviewed, he wants a soapbox to stand on while parroting his talking points. He gets abrasive and attacks when he's not allowed to do that. Greater than he doesn't actually want to be interviewed, he wants a soapbox to stand on while parroting his talking points. That is common in the US. I understand the idea behind what he's saying but Russia already borders all three Baltic states and Poland. If we're counting Belarus the Baltics only have 100 kilometers of border that isn't Russia or its allies we 110% need to continue supporting Ukraine to win this war. But the risk of Russia overrunning Europe afterwards isn't why. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.